Alright, uh, welcome back everyone. This is the Depressed Hero on this Conquest of Lyceum 3. It looks like my frame rate dropped again. Um, it's a little annoying, but in this game I don't think frame rate's really that much of an issue. Did I already take all my turns? Apparently. Alright, more dwarves. That Bliss is going to take over the world because I'm not going to bother chasing after him. Recruit units. Let's go ahead and get some more swords here and some swords here. Technically, we can get some up here as well. So yeah, we're this is the uh, quest to uh, find uh, an ancient forest, so we can show off the final abilities of a uh, druid, as well as, the, as well as their spells. But um, it seems that a dark age map of a large size has no ancient forest at all. I mean, I could understand if maybe like the AI was smart enough that perhaps they burnt some down. But even then, they would have something to, um, they would have a dark forest behind. But there's not even a dark forest, so I don't know what to say. Transfer units, give me all of those, except you. I'm a little shocked that this guy's actually lived, because he's a frontline, uh, champ. Okay. Oh, Brook Village, I didn't see that. Let's go ahead and keep, uh, using special power. There's dwarves coming down that way, but, you know, I can't really care right now. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> I wanted to try out some cool summons, like, you know, something like Treebeard or whatever. I mean, heck, witches can summon Treebeard with rank, with just, uh, major summons. Let's, uh, head up this way. Oh, we found it. We finally found one. Alright. Now pray that 32 units can take on 3 giant mantis. Alright. This changes everything. We finally found one. Yep, they combined their forces. That's fine. Jude Apprentice. That's fine. Two. I don't care about any of you guys right now. Here. There we go. Use special power. Ritual of Mastery. Ritual of Nature Mastery, and call Legendary Being, but I think I'm out of actions right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have now. We now have level 3 magic, of course. Uh, wild Growth, Entanglement, all enemies, um, rather strong. Lord of the Wild, um, it's, a ma it's a one enemy rank charm, so we can just put that there. And put that there. Okay, so, it's decent. So, it costs six, it apparently costs uh, 600 to call legendary beings, so we're going to do that next round. And uh, what do you got here? We can take on these death conicus. You on the other hand, um, you can just explore now. But, uh, use special power. Uh, it's 15 per summon, so I'm just going to go ahead and spam these anyway. It's not a big deal. Just in case the dwarves try to push down again. What do you got here? We can take on Bog Beast. We can take this and head back. Let's go ahead and use special power. Get some more of these things. We have over a thousand gold, by the way, I think. I haven't been buying anything. I just summon. Which we haven't seen before. 
So let's take a look at what we got. Um, we already know about the Chimera with its fiery breath that affects the entire row. It can also um, do nasty bites, claws, and a strong venomous bite. Um, monster boars are just um, very tanky uh, boars. They can berserk, which would increase their hit points by f around 14, as well as, you know, give them more strength. And then there's the rock, which we haven't encountered before. Apparently it can siege, which allows it to um, strike anywhere with a siege move that does 160, uh, 1 to 60, sorry, not 160. It um, has two talons for 120 each, or 1 to 20 each, wow, I'm getting all messed up here, and then a beak attack for 1 to 25, and it's giant size with acute senses. Decent hit points, relatively nice. It would have been nice to have these a lot sooner, but uh, you know, take it for what you will. Um, I'm just gonna keep summoning these things until I run out of herbs. So I'm gonna go. Whoa! They pushed forward with the 62 herb. These guys, fine. I'll stop them. Uh, anything here? No. So let's go here. You can just um, make sure there's no more dwarves. I think there's some here. And you push here. Four warriors. Okay. That's nice. Get some of those. Transfer units. Give me those. Next commander. And, um, so, yeah. Go here as well. And you can join in. Let's just make this a big, nasty, just cluster. 330 to 62. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, the dwarves, don't, they have some good ranged weapons, it's just they, in this playthrough, they haven't really been using them. They just mow them, mow everything down. I mean, really, if you have, like, three rows of dwarves with, you know, you know, the large shield and two to three armor, you can then just fill the rest of your ranks with Arbalist and see how that goes. And those will just shred things every three rounds. So far we've lost 50 units. They've lost about half theirs. So not too bad. But with what we've had. I mean, we've been fighting with practically low tier monsters this entire game. But uh, this is probably the end of the dwarves by, at, at this point. They, they've they're running out of resources. But man, they had a lot of stuff taken over, so I mean, they were just spewing out workers left and right. Alright, so, um, so there you go. Let's um, go over here. Let's, uh, I can burn this forest. What? How can I? Oh, it's probably because I have that chimera. That's kind of funny. Let's go ahead and use special power. Call legendary beings. Basilisk. Though that looks more like a cockatrice. Giant moose. I've, I've encountered those before. And uh, some more monster boars. And some great boars. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this character. This is a mid-range with... Um, Ranged Petrifying Gaze that can be used in addition to any other attack and in melee. Uh, talents that don't really do anything. So it does two Petrifying Gazes, affects three enemies, 1 to, 99, one to uh, 999, Paral has chance of paralysis. The other one's the same thing. So yeah, this thing's pretty nasty. It only has 13 hit points though, so it's very uh, vulnerable. The monster... sorry. The giant moose has 130 th hit points and three nasty attacks and acute senses, and armor one. So, I've encountered I've encountered a giant moose like once, and I usually just swarm it, but I mean, now I can summon them. So, um, I say one more turn of this, and then I'll go ahead and just roll out and see what happens. Um, what a, we have 272 units, so it's not really a big deal. You can go here. You, on the other hand, Okay, it's just ghosts. That's right, I forgot about you guys. 
Well, since it's early winter, I can actually just move here, and then uh, move there, and just push on through, so, and turn. Yeah, yeah, the, balli that's, uh, the ballista and, like, four doors are taking over everything. Let's, um, go over here and see what else we can get. I think, kind of, three rocks, wow. Look like there's very much variety. There's still new monsters, it's just. Can't do much with them. Oh, I can actually do one more turn. Well, now nah, I'll just roll out. I'll probably summon once and then start moving. So, there you go. Um, you can just head that way. You can head that way. You, on the other hand, can um, head that way. See if we can push our way up there. And, uh, in turn. Alright. You. Go ahead and use special power one more time. Just monster boars, so. Boars. And some more boars. Alright. Well, this force has gotten rather large of actual good units. We'll go ahead and attack. Um. Attack. You go up there. Nothing there. Attack. Push there. Fortified Ur Horberg. Spearman. Spearman and dwarves. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Except I ran out of movement. It's late winter and I'm on a frozen river, so I'm about to lose all these units. That kind of sucks. I don't know why I didn't get uh, three movement that turn. I should have. Alright. Oh well. Nothing you can do about it. So, we're going to lose 28 units from drowning. But I think they have bigger things to worry about right now. That is a pretty nice place to put a uh, Coburg uh, village. I only have one way to attack it. She can also lay siege to it, so... I can't even see the units because there's giant moose in the way. Oh, the cockatrice just killed everything. This ring is here. Oh, I guess... It... Okay, I guess you can stand right here, somehow. Whatever. Um... Well, oh, there's no units there, so let's go up this way. A colossal base. That is. Oh, that's probably the uh, the Colossus thing. That now it's wandering around. Go and attack. Sheesh, you guys just go this way, I guess. I don't know. Screw it. <laughs> In turn. <laughs> There's nothing left. Let's just kill these guys and get it over with. Yeah, we're gonna lose this simply because they strike first. Well, maybe not, because of the Berserks. There we go. Oh. That was a good fight. Alright, um... Where are you at? There you are, the last uh, battle. Right here. Maybe the last battle. Let's find out. Yeah, it's looking like it. Alright, in turn. And I apparently attacked the wrong unit. Oh, okay. I thought that was the uh, the moose unit. That's my bad. Oh well. I don't think we even killed a single unit. <laughs> That's okay. What was I doing with you? All right. It's not you. Not you. Not you. Not yeah. You. Oops. Alright, it's probably Ghost again. In turn. No, it's not. It's a Gortide Horror. Um, I haven't encountered this e either. It knows uh, two spells I can cast while I move. Uh, well, while in melee. Wave of Pus does uh, 1 to 6 damage to 5 feet targets. Um, has stun and has a chance to do 1 to 999 damage. It's 43 hit points. Um, resistant to all physical damage. Floating Amphibian, 
ethereal, fire immunity, disease aura, so everything that attacks it must make a magic resist check or become disease, spirit sight, and stealth. Uh, it has two spells. Okay. Well, they're dead. A lot of our guys are doing no damage with the diseases and stuff. Never healing wound. Oh well. Yeah. A lot of yeah guys aren't doing much damage at all. <laughs> oh well. I figured as much, but figured I'd see what was there. Alright, go here. Sorry. Go here. Thank you. I'm getting 416 herbs a, a, a month. Just end our turn. I'm just gonna speed through these and finish this up. At least, I'm very glad that there's at least one ancient forest in this entire map here. I mean, yep, right there. That's the only one. That's uh, kind of disappointing. It does kind of explain why there's very little roaming mobs. But uh, yeah, this was a Dark Age map, uh, scenario, and it should have been, you know, there should have been a decent number of these. There were fairy groves, but even those weren't that many. So let's go ahead and attack with what we got. Um, there's actually a lot of units there now, because I took too long to get here. But uh, that's okay. Actually, I think I could have done the uh, summon, too. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's then turn and see what happens. Our go first. They actually have a line of them. Took out a chunk of them with the, the petrifying gaze and then a fire breath. And a mass um, entangle. Some more fire and uh, stone gazes. Twice that time, because there's two chimeras. Well, there's three chimeras, actually. So, yeah. There you go. And I'm not sure, but I think we also opened with some uh, siege as well. So, that went pretty well. So, there you go. Oh, I found a serpent crisp. And a coral ring. And a stone bone. Oh, all the stuff that I lost, because I let my character die. So, there you go. Um, that's the druid playthrough. Um, overall, they're, they're, uh, they aren't too bad. Um, they're very limited due to the f they are very limited on their options for attacking. I mean, they just some mass summon everything and hope fast numbers are enough to. Um, they have to rely on crits, which I don't really like, because those dwarves. I mean, a lot of my units couldn't even do damage to them, so I had to rely on crits or something to pierce through their defenses. And they don't have very many options for like troops. Their best unit, I can't. You can only hire if it pops up randomly. It's not like a mercenary either. It actually uses up your um, your purchase for the month. So that kind of sucks. But um, if allowed to expand, kind of like the witch, um, you'll collect enough herbs to easily, you know, make a lot of summons and, you know, just, I mean, heck, even having just fodder like rabbits and stuff helped out a lot. I mean, they just took hits. Um, so it wasn't too bad. But unfortunately, um, not having access to an ancient forest really delayed everything. I mean, we had to rely on just vast numbers to uh, win instead of uh, those cool uh, units or, you know, powerful spells. Like, probably the worst thing about this uh, this faction is the fact you can't upgrade unless you're in an ancient forest. That's a very serious uh, flaw, uh, flaw. I mean, every other character can upgrade freely, except with the exception, of course, you know, the immortality, uh, vampire, and lich. Which those are kind of, those are special things that are special qualities of those factions, but yeah, it's like okay, I can if I also if I don't have an ancient uh, if I don't have a temple, I, I don't get uh, druids. So if I lose my druids early, I'm screwed. I can't summon. I have to rely purely on um, units, which we don't really have good ones except for the uh, the boar warriors, which are random. So yeah, they're not. Um, they're they're very vulnerable, but it was fun playing them. It was kind of neat, just you know, mowing, just summoning things and mowing things down. But uh, it is getting kind of old dealing with the dwarves over and over again. <laughs> it seems they just survive everything. Um, like I
like I said, it's blood bowl all over again. They just endure and just bash everything. And the fact they spread so they they if they get enough resources, they can just upgrade the Davalas and just keep spreading and producing eggs. It's a pretty nasty. But I think I've rambled on enough. Um, that's the uh, the Druid playthrough, and uh, as per requested that I do the Dwarf first before I do Troll King, I will do the Dwarf first. So after all this complaining, I will see what the fuss is about, about the Dwarf uh, Queen. So there you go. Um, as for which, what area we'll be playing in, that I'm not sure about, because technically the Dwarves don't need anything um, special except for, you know, mines. So, we'll see how that goes, um, but, um, I guess that'll be it for now, um, this was the Depressed Eeyore with Conquest of Elysium 3, the Druid playthrough, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, I'll have this up as soon as possible, as soon as I finish rendering, <laughs> luckily uploading goes a lot faster than rendering, so, um, there you go, hope to see you guys later.